what's up? Welcome back to the channel. And we've been talking about Tyree Nichols and everything with the case and through the terminations of several employees, EMTs to police officers, as well as arrest. And yesterday I shared a rumor regarding Tyree Nichols that's been over everywhere on social media that said he was having some sort of relationship with Officer Dimitri Haley's baby's mom. And during the vigil yesterday, Tyree's stepdad, he wanted to dispel the rumors. Well, I'm going to play the video for you, but basically he said that that's not true. I mean, Tyree is 29 years old, so I don't know if they would know everything that he's got going on with his coworkers or any of that, but I don't know where the rumor started at, so who knows. But I'm going to play the video based on fair use. It's the new Fox News in Memphis, and I'll come back with the commentary. Don't anybody believe that mess? They're trying to get out of this, but they're not. At a time when Rodney Wells should be grieving the death of his son, instead he's having to address what he calls rumors. Wells took time outside his home at a prayer vigil Monday to address protesters. This is a scene where a makeshift memorial now stands in honor of 29-year-old Tyree Nichols. Monday, the prayer vigil took place in the very spot where Nichols had that second encounter with officers. The police tried to cover it up. They still is trying to spread rumors about my son that are not true. For anybody who thought that these rumors was true, they are not. Just feet from Monday's prayer vigil, if protesters looked up high, there they saw the sky camera that's now shown the world what Nichols endured. To know that my son was calling out my wife's name and we was not able to hear him to help him was devastating. Wells says he and his wife have lived in the neighborhood for five years. Monday's prayer vigil organized by their neighbors. And I'd like to thank everybody for showing up. I really appreciate all the help, support, uh, the outreach, the uh, showing of love for my son. They lived in the home with their son, Tyree, a family now overcome, they say, with support at a time when they need it most. Losing a son is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. And to stand up here every day and try to put on this face and all of that, it's difficult. But we have to do it. I have a wife, I have stepchildren that need my support. So I'm going to give it to them. Well, there you have it. The rumor was not true, according to the stepfather. If somebody just made that up and started it online, they should be ashamed of themselves. That's crazy. Why would you make something like that up? and spread it around but hopefully the truth in this case gets out and the people that are responsible are charged appropriately and disciplined appropriately as well i hate to see what this family is going through i'm glad there's a strong black father in the household and husband that's there to get out front gather himself to be able to speak in front of the crowd and address the news team and their neighbors and to be able to uplift his family you know they like to paint the black men in a bad light but here's one standing in front of the camera for his family and the mother doesn't have to come out there and, and trying to hold it together and address a rumor and all of that many prayers to this family and may god comfort them through this time i know it's got to be very difficult to bury a child thank god i have not had to do that we're going to continue to follow this i know they said that there was another officer that was terminated but they haven't released his or his or her information so we will continue to follow this and just i'll bring it to you when i find out let me know your thoughts in the comment section make sure you hit the like button before you go subscribe to the channel if you haven't already until next time peace